everyone, and happy Easter. Here on the property of the Shrine of St. Anthony, spring is bursting all over. We already had our beautiful white cherry blossoms that have turned to green now. Our pink cherry blossoms are just finishing up, but now our dogwoods and our lilacs are starting to bloom. When I was young, I used to love the story of the dogwood tree, and it's a legend. It's a legend that the dogwood at one time was one of the tallest, strongest trees, and it was used for building certain things, ships, houses, but tradition has it, it was used to build the cross, the cross that Jesus Christ hung upon and saved us of our sins. And because of that, God cursed and also blessed the dogwood. He cursed the dogwood, saying that it would no longer be the tallest tree. And so if you notice the dogwood trees, they're not very tall. And he also took the strong branches and kind of made them a little gnarly so they wouldn't be used to build anything. But he blessed the dogwood tree with the beautiful flower that's upon it. Because as you look upon the flower, we can see the passion and also to translate that passion into great love. And so when you look at the dogwood blossoms, you'll notice in the very middle, there's the crown of thorns. And then the, le the petals themselves form a cross. And if you look at the, the cross, you'll see indents on each four of the ends, the indents symbolizing the nails. And to make it even more beautiful, if you notice on the white dogwoods, there's a little red at each one of those indents symbolizing the blood of the passion. We thank you for coming to the property of the shrine. Many people are coming and, and walking in a very quiet way. And so next time you're here at the shrine, or next time you see a dogwood, think of the crucifixion and the resurrection, because it is by the Lord's holy cross, through his resurrection, through his ascension, and through Pentecost, we continue to live the life of Jesus risen in our hearts.